when it's noted that an employee is underperforming in the role, employers will need to consider how the poor performance should be um, dealt with. If the poor performance is related to an unwillingness to work at full capacity or due to an I can't be bothered attitude, the matter should be considered via the disciplinary procedure as this would be a misconduct or a performance issue rather than a capability issue. If the poor performance is related to either the physical or mental ability of the employee to carry out the duties to the standards required by the employer, then the capability procedure should be followed. In some cases, the medical condition may fall within the definition of disability under the Disability Discrimination Act and therefore there would be a requirement for the employer to consider reasonable adjustments to aid the employee to perform their role. So for example, a reduction in working hours, provision of equipment, alternative work or changes to the, the employee's place of work. Otherwise, it is essential to establish the gap between the standards required by the employer in comparison to the standard of work being achieved by the employee. And this should be done by following the company's capability procedure. In all capability cases, consideration should be given to whether or not all has been done to assist the employee in achieving the required standards. And this should be training, mentoring, or any possible adjustments. It is, however, important for employers to remember that throughout the process where the statutory disciplinary and dismissal procedure is not adhered to, that any dismissal will be automatically unfair.